gentlemen, welcome to the channel, welcome to Eric Talks, I'm Eric. All right guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to Louis Vuitton's smartwatch. But before we jump into the video, if you're asking yourself what kind of watch I'm wearing today, today I'm wearing the Seiko SPL 060 World Time. I'm gonna be reviewing this watch in the next couple of days, so if you don't wanna miss that video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. All right guys, now back to Louis Vuitton and their smartwatch. So basically guys, I don't, I don't know if I'm the only one, but I had no idea that Louis Vuitton made watches. So that came up to a surprise for me. So the reason why I'm making this video is because lately I've been getting a lot of ads with this watch. So I just want to see what the hype is about and see if it's worth your time and money. So now that we know this, let's jump into the video. All right guys, so here we have it. It's called the Tambor Horizon Light Up Connected Watch. In my opinion, that's a really long name for a watch. But let's see what this is about. We have nice little video going right there. I don't see that watch that much. Okay, I see the watch. Okay. All right, so, wow, okay. So this watch is super crowded, busy all around. Um, I can see the logo, the Louis Vuitton monogram all around it. In my opinion, I don't like that, guys. I like something more subtle. I think sometimes less is better. And I don't know, this is way too much going on around the screen. The good thing, guys, is that you have the time right at the middle, so you won't miss that. Uh, okay, let's go, let's see. A never before seen connected watch. I mean, I've never seen this watch before, but to me, it just looks like a regular smartwatch with a really busy screen. It has 24 LED lights all around it. And now we see two pictures of these two models right here. In my opinion, guys, it looks way too big on the guy's wrist, and it looks way too big on the ladies wrist so I don't know if they offer different sizes or one size for fits all not sure it says the most customizable watch so okay they have it in red black but looks like a black again oh they have it in brown I like this one guys if I were to choose a watch I think I would go for the brown just because I don't know I think it resembles more Louis Vuitton but I think he's just talking about like the features, heart rate, okay. Uh, all right, but that's enough of that. I think it's time to see the price, okay. So this watch starts at $3,400 and it goes up to $4,110. That's a lot of money. Well, for a smartwatch. And okay, let's click the most expensive version. See what we get. Um, okay, it's out of stock. Okay, so if you're thinking of spending $4,000 on a smartwatch, guys, I'm really sorry. This watch is not available right now. That's, that's pretty amazing to me. $4,000 for a smartwatch and it's already out of stock. I mean, crazy times we're living in, guys. Okay. S specifications, uh, sandblasted stainless steel with brown PVD coating, the case. So for $4,000, I was expecting more of, of, I don't know, different material, titanium. I don't know, but for stainless steel, $4,000. No, thank you. Mechanical buttons, polished stainless steel, black polished ceramic engraved with monogram pattern. So we get more monograms in the case back. The crown has the Louis Vuitton logo. Okay, I see that. So just in case you didn't have enough of Louis Vuitton all around the strap and all around the bezel, you also have it on the crown, just so you can remember that you spent $4,000 on a smartwatch. Okay, let's see the technical specifications. The water resistance is up to 30 meters. The average battery life is one day. So yeah, you basically have to charge this watch every day. And I mean, I, I can see why. It's a lot of lights going on. And 30 meters, water resistant, not good at all. I think it's good for washing your hands and pretty much that's it. But I don't think you're gonna go swimming with this thing. Um, 
bunch of things. I mean, that's that's the thing about smartwatches, and that's why I don't I don't review them. There's many many technical terms and a lot of technology involved that it's really hard to make a short video out of it. Um, so I'm just gonna skip that. But it looks like, but it looks like that's what you get, guys. Four thousand dollars gets you a smartwatch, a Louis Vuitton smartwatch. Now let's take a closer look at it. Well, this watch has a busy dial, that's for sure. And in my opinion, guys, I don't know, I would spend my money somewhere else. I wouldn't spend $4,000 on it. All right, guys, so to wrap this video up, I just wanna share my thoughts about this watch. In my opinion, $4,000 is way too high for a smartwatch. The reason of that is because smartwatches don't age pretty well. In three to four years from now, this watch is not gonna have a value anymore uh, because technology ages so quick and it goes out of style so fast that probably this watch won't be around for 10 years. So that's one of the main reasons why I don't like smart watches and I don't like expensive smart watches. And another thing guys, I already have to charge my phone every day. I have to charge my headphones. I have to charge my laptop. And on top of that, I don't want to be having to charge my watch pretty much every day. That's another downside that I see from smartwatches. And I think there's just better ways to spend your money. I think for $4,000, Omega and Cartier comes to mind. And those are watches that are gonna last you a lifetime and that you're gonna be able to pass it through generations. If I were to spend $4,000 on some watch, I would totally go for those brands instead. And just, I don't feel like the quality is there. I don't feel like the materials are anything worth spending your money on. So. That's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review and reaction video. And if you like more content like this, watch reviews and all that kind of stuff, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.